Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the latest edition of the Jake's Take with Jacob Ayeshar podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Ayeshar, the chief content producer and writer of jakesake.com, a pop culture entertainment news website. Now, before we get started with our conversation, if you're listening to this on our audio platforms, please give us a five-star rating, download the app, subscribe to the podcast, and of course, download this episode and more. I'm very excited to welcome this actor to the, the podcast. He has shared a screen with Bruce Willis, Mark Wahlberg, Mike Myers, and Tim Allen. As of this recording, he has over 16,400 followers on Instagram, and he's starring in Murder Anyone. As of this recording, he has an 89% rating on Rotten Tomato. So please help me welcome Spencer Breslin to the podcast. Hey, thank you for the uh, the very cool introduction. Glad to be here. Spencer, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to talk with me today. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. So, Spencer, let's get started. So, you have been in the entertainment industry for a very long time. So, in your humble opinion, how has it evolved for the better? Has it changed for the worse? And why? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I guess, I don't know if I'm an expert on it, but um, like you said, I've been around for a while, I guess. For the better, I think with streaming and everything, it's given a lot more um, opportunity to different uh, filmmakers and creators to get their stuff out uh, beyond the scope of just like a strictly studio oriented uh, kind of system. So that's cool. Um, I don't know for the. It's tough to see if it's changed for the worse. I I, I don't I don't really know. I, I, I think overall it's been good changes but i think maybe sometimes the emphasis on you know social media can kind of be harmful to the process but i don't know it's a, it's a tricky one it's a tricky question i'm sorry to ask you that tricky question <laughs> <laughs> all righty so many of my audience has remembered you from a lot of films including the cat in the hat the kid and santa claus too so what were some of the lessons that you learned from those sets that helped you grow as an actor? I mean, just getting the opportunity to work with so many talented veterans of the film business is, uh, I mean, that's, that's been extremely helpful. And just seeing, I, I, I think the number one lesson probably is all my favorite people I've worked with and the most successful of them have always been just kind people who treat everyone on the crew with respect and treat their fellow cast members with respect and are generous and will root for you to give a good performance instead of just focusing entirely on themselves because they know that that helps the film overall. So I think, yeah, it's mainly the the most generous and kind people are the ones with longevity. So I, I try to do that, you know. And I, we're grateful to have to do that, Spencer, because there's a lot of, as you and I both know in our industry, there are a lot of actors and a lot of trades that are like, if you do one wrong thing or you're accused of being a, a, a diva or a diva, you get written about in the gossip and it really stays with you. Yeah, I mean, and, and people will tolerate someone with a bad attitude as long as they're earning the money. But then the second that that drops off, they won't want to hire you again. So you won't have the longevity. But if you're cool to people and you're generous, um, you know, even when you're going through lulls in your career, people will try to go out of their way to help you more. And so I think it's basically my motto is uh, just don't be a dick, you know? Absolutely. I think everyone's motto should be that. I agree. Awesome. So what have been some of the challenges that you face staying in the entertainment industry and how have you overcome those obstacles? I think some of the challenges is just, um, you know, there, there are the slow times and there are the busy times. Um, I guess the slow times have been the challenges. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of a waiting game half the time, you know, it's, I had a really slow few years and now I'm, busy with like six different projects. So it's just that never knowing when the next gig's coming, you know? And that's incredible. Six different projects. I'm very excited for you. And I cannot wait to see those projects. I, I can't, I'm, I'm excited for everyone to see them. I think they're, you know, 
some of the coolest stuff I've ever worked on. So I'm excited for everyone to see them. That's cool. So let's talk about this current project, which is Murder yeah. Anyone. So what attracted you to the film? Well, I've been friends with the director, uh, James Bresick, for years now. And we had been talking about trying to find a you know, picture to work on. And uh, he came to me with this. And, you know, it's an adaptation of a play written by his father, his late father. And I was on board immediately because I knew it was such a personal project for him. And the opportunity to play this zany, crazy role uh it, it was uh very appealing and uh, so yeah i just got involved because my buddy asked me to do it you know and that's an, and, and i'm so glad you got involved with this project and especially if it's a, a family project that's gone been in the family for gener for like two generations yeah. so yeah. how was important for you to stay with like to make sure okay we got it i got to respect we got to find the right line between professional and friendship because it's very jarring at times to work with friends. It can be. With James, it never is. Um, when we're not on set, we are, you know, buddies hanging out, whether we're having a beer or watching a game. But when we're on set, it's um, we both seem to be able to just turn it back into that professional mode. Because when I'm on set, I'm a professional. And when he's on set, he's all about directing and keeping the shit moving. And uh, I think we're both really good at that, um, that being able to separate it, you know, because once the day's over, we go back to being buds who drink beer and watch football together, you know, but on set, it's, it's work and it's respectful, but it's work, you know. That's great to hear. So you said that your character is a little bit z is zany. So how yes. is this character similar or different between any of the characters that you on any of your previous projects? I'd say it's probably similar to my other characters in zero ways. Um, he is, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's a crazy psycho in a chicken costume. So I, I've i never gotten to do that before. And I probably don't think I will again. So <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I don't think there's any similarity. Which was fun it's, for me because it's cool to do new stuff. It is very cool to new, cool to do new stuff, and it's amazing that a, a great chicken costume. It sounds like you're talking about the giant chicken from Family Guy. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we got to start winding down our conversation. So, what have been what is some what is your favorite social media platform? And if you use social media, what is what is that platform you prefer to connect with fans on? Honestly, I I love Instagram. I, I I really like it. Um, I mean, I my content is kind of uh, a little weird. Uh, I guess uh, you know, just a, a lot of uh, pictures of me uh, drinking with buddies. I guess <laughs> I don't. It's I'm not good at social media, uh, but I, I enjoy it because I enjoy looking at what's going on in my friends' lives. Um, Twitter's fun too. Facebook, I'm not on, but. Uh, Totally agree. I love it. I love Instagram, especially, especially showcasing and like keeping track of your friends' lives and there and see and see how people are doing. And that's amazing. Twitter, I, get my Twitter. Memes. I get my memes from it, you know? Absolutely. Don't we all get our memes from Instagram? That's, well, that's the meaning of life is uh, being nice to people and collecting good memes, you know? Awesome. Um, One question I want to ask you before we, it's before we can answer to go to the final question sure. Um, is, a lot of my a lot of my listeners want to work in the entertainment industry, no matter if they're a production crew or want to be in front of the camera or to direct. What advice would you have for my audience about like how to get started or if they're in a career, how to advance their career? How to get started, it's tricky because like I said, it's so different from when I started out. So I have no idea how I would break into it uh in this day and age. Uh I feel like it would be pretty tough. Um, in terms of advancing your career, just do a lot of, you know, different types of projects. Um, get experience doing more than just say you want to be an actor. You should get experience trying to direct or trying to write or trying to work on a crew. I think when you're familiar with all the roles um, that need to be filled in order to make a movie or a TV show, um, 
it just helps because you're more well-rounded and you know what's going on. And yeah, I, I mean, I, I'd say, yeah, just try and do as much as possible and, you know, be cool to people and make friends. Absolutely. Great make friends and not enemies. Amen to that. That is absolutely correct. So last question. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Where can my audience find you on Find Murder Anyone? And also, besides Instagram, where can I connect with you? So, uh, Murder Anyone is available on Video On Demand, I believe on all Video On Demand platforms, I believe. And uh, Amazon, you can rent it or buy it. Um, in terms of social media, you can find me on Twitter, at Spencer Breslin. Um, on Instagram is at Ono Spenny. And oh, I, I try to be active on both. Um, I'm not great at it, but I like interacting with people. So shoot me a follow, reach out, and I'll say hi. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Spencer. So guys, if you haven't had a chance to have you listened to this, is this your first time listening in? What are you waiting for? I have a lot of content so you can listen to. So if you're on listening to, please have to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. These are iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Spreaker. It's Jake Steak with Jacob Elyashar podcast. J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. Once again, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. Now, are you on social media? Because I'm on social media too. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Jake's, Jacob Elyashar, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. And guys, for more takes on um, reality shows like America's Got Talent and The Masked Singer, Head oh, and also my music reviews, head over to jakes-jake.com. Once again, jakes-jake.com. Spencer, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to talk with me. I really thank appreciate you. it. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, you're so welcome. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for so much for listening. Until next time, have a great one, everybody. Goodbye.